Hello, my name is Jack Wallen, and this is a hard drive. You'll find one of these devices in your desktop or your laptop computer. These devices hold your operating system and your data. And inside of these devices are spinning platters. And sometimes, because there are moving parts, these drives can go bad. Or the operating system can be rendered unbootable. How does that happen? Well, one instance is, say, for example, you're using Windows 10 and you're running a Windows 10 update and your building loses power. Well, when you go to try to boot that computer again, it might not boot because the update was interrupted. When that happens, when you cannot access the data on your hard drive, what do you do? Well, the first thing you're probably going to have to do is remove the hard drive from your computer. And then you'll need to buy an external case like this. You can then insert the hard drive into that case, plug it in via USB into a booting computer. And if this drive is still readable, you can probably view your files from the booting computer. There are instances, however, when that doesn't work. What do you do when you've attached this to a bootable computer and it can't read the files? Well, Fortunately, there are applications out there that allow you to recover files from a non-booting drive. One of those applications is called Disk Drill. It's available for Mac OS and Windows. I'm going to show you how to use Disk Drill to recover files from a non-booting hard drive on Windows 10. Let's see how it's done. I have inserted my hard drive into the hard drive case, and then I've attached the hard drive case via USB to a laptop running Windows 10. I have then fired up Disk Drill, and as you can see, Disk Drill sees the external hard drive. Now, what I want to do is I want to expand this entry, and then it'll list the actual drive letter that I want to search. Now, before I hit Search for Lost Data, I can go up here and select what recovery methods I want to use. By default, all the recovery methods will be selected, but you can go for a quick scan, a deep scan, or allocate existing data. Deep scan is going to take quite some time, especially for a large hard drive. If you're talking terabytes, it's going to take a while. So you might want to start out with a quick scan of a larger hard drive. And then if quick scan doesn't find what you're looking for, you can go back and then run a deep scan. So I'm gonna quick, I'm gonna click quick scan. And then I'm going to click Search for Lost Data. Disk Drill will then dive in to the hard drive and start searching for data. And because of the size of this, it might take a bit for it to actually start the scan. Soon after you start the scan, Disk Drill will start seeing files. You will see them listed here. Pictures, 250. Videos, 17. Audio, documents, archives. You want to hope that Distril finds quite a lot of files here. So you can wait for the file scan to complete. You can step away from the computer and allow it to finish. Or if you think that Distril might have found the files you're looking for, you can click Review Found Items. So click Review Found Items. And if this is the first time you run Distro, you're going to get some hints here. You can read it and then click Got It. All right, so we have found some items. Of course, it's going to tell you there's a chance to find more data, so you can click Scan the Entire Disk. Since I stopped the scan midway, you'd probably want to go ahead and do that. But I'm just trying to show you that Distro did find some files. So we're going to expand this entry right here. There's another tip for you. It's going to keep giving you tips until you run out of tips. As you can see, it found quite a lot of files. If you keep expanding them, you'll see there's a file. That is an audio file. Now, Distro is going to find a lot of files here. And you might be looking for a certain file or a certain type of file. Over here in the left pane, you can see you can filter the results. All files, pictures, video, audio, documents, archives, other. Let's say you're looking for documents. Click on the documents filter, and Distril is then going to filter 
only the documents. So you're only going to see document type files. Now, if we expand these entries, then we're going to start seeing specific files that are only documents. There's an ODT file. Keep going. There's a doc file. Once you find the files you want to recover, you may find a lot of them. But once you find the ones you want to recover, you're going to select them. Select all of the files you want to recover. I'm not going to select a lot of files just for expediency. So let's say we have found all of the files that we want to recover. We've selected all of them. All right. Once we have selected all of the files we're looking for, we're going to click the Recover button. And once we click Recover, Disk Drill is going to begin to recover. However, before it can, it needs you to tell it where to save the files. So we're going to click the Folder button, and then we're going to locate a place to house the files. We're going to put it in our Documents folder. Click OK, and now Disk Drill can recover the files. That was fast because I didn't select a lot of files, and the files I selected were very small. Now if we go back to Return to Disk List, it'll show us our disks again, but more importantly, if we open up File Manager and we go to Documents, there's our lost folder with the recovered files. Disk Drill has successfully found our files. Now, of course, if there are a lot of files, it's going to take some time, and you want to make sure that you go through and recover every file that you need from this unbootable drive. But once you're done, you can then close everything out, and you're good to go. It only takes a little bit of effort to make sure your files are safe. But even if that drive becomes unbootable, there is a way to recover them.